Master George, Master Frankie, Lady Etty, and Master Lenny. How are you, sir? Sir? How are you? Thank you. Anything else, sir? No, no, no. You carry on. I'll keep myself up. You go if you marry his fattest daughter. Absolutely true, George. Don't you dare tell my wife. Dear Joseph. Dearest Emma. Ah. Uh, yes, um, forgive the short notice. I believe you know Thomas Huxley? Only by reputation. He insisted on coming and I could not refuse him. It's a lie. I have a question for your esteemed reclusive husband and I didn't trust Hooker to ask it for me. I see. Children, tell Papa's visitors are here. He already knows. He's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Do come in, please. Can I take charge of the light brigade? Of course. You must be exhausted. Oh, in that case, I shall be Will Lord Bagley and watch the massacre. Walker, my okay. dear fellow. And Huxley. Do come in. Come in. Leave the, the charge, boys. And away we go. Now, I shall sit from the farm and watch the massacre. We're reforming the Linnaean Society. The committee will comprise of myself, Lyle, Hooker, yourself, of course, if you're game for it. Now that Hooker and I finally have a bit of clout, we can start to reclaim science as a profession, wrested away from the, the country parsons and beetle collectors. Some of whom are dear friends of mine. Your book will be our rallying point. No, it won't. There is no book. There's, there's fragments, and they're not in any fit state Nonsense. To I've, I, I've read your detailed abstract, and the argument is hugely powerful clear evidence of transformation over millions of years from a free-swimming prawn to a shellfish stuck on a rock. Well, that's my point. You see, you can't be entirely sure of that, and that's why I need more time. I need... Mr. Darwin, sir. Yes. Either you are being disingenuous, or you do not fully understand your own theory. Evidently, what is true of the barnacle is true of all creatures, even humans. Clearly, the Almighty can no longer claim to have authored every species in under a week. You've killed God, sir. You have killed God. Or, to put it another way... And I, for one, say good riddance to the vindictive old bugger. Charles. Charles. Oh, oh no, I'm fine, fine, fine. Thomas, please. Yes, I quite understand. It is time to write your book. Strike hard and fast with a blow that is utterly conclusive. Really, sir? You, you talk as if we're at war. Yes. Science is at war with religion. And when we win, we'll finally be rid of those damned archbishops and their threats of eternal punishment. No, Mr. Huxley. We live in a society, and it is a society bound together by the church. An improbable sort of bark, I grant you, but at least it floats. It floats. And you would what? You would, you would have us all rebuild plank by plank the very vessel in which we say... Oh, come, come, Charles. Did God's laws change your foyagens? Was Jenny the ape any less personable for not being a person? Our behaviour, like our physical forms, evolves according to our needs. Your very own words, sir. And thus, in time, we lose those parts that are no longer required. Like the appendix, the male nipple, and finally, thank Christ, our belief in an utterly redundant almighty. Mr. Hooker. I implore you, please do not push him. No one can push Charles. You know how fixed he is. Bit of a barnacle himself, really. Yes. And if you prize him from this rock, he will die. Come on, Hooker. It'll be dark soon. So, what did she say to you? She said it was killing him. Oh, mighty slow death, considering the length of time he sat on this stuff. We shall all be dead and buried ourselves, so it takes much longer. Yes, since his girl died, one has to admit, he's not the man he was. 